Today I'm going to talk about flatulence or passing wind in people with irritable bowel syndrome. My name is Suzanne Perazzini and I'm the author of two low FODMAP cookbooks and the creator of two low FODMAP coaching programs. So flatulence or passing wind, breaking wind, passing gas, farting, however you want to call it. And the medical term is flatus, F-L-A-T-U-S. Now, how does this happen? It happens by the contracting of the muscles in the intestine and the colon which push the wind down towards the rectum. How do we get the gas inside of us? Well, it can be from swallowing air, and that can be because we're talking while we're eating, while we're eating too fast and gulping in air, we're eating in a stressed situation. It can also be from the foods or drinks that we consume. For example, carbonated drinks, got a lot of gas in them and therefore that gas of course goes into our own digestive system. Also smoothies, when you uh, make a smoothie you just about double the volume of the ingredients and the rest of that is gas so that's going to be going into your intestine as well. And the third way is through fermentation of undigested food in the bowel which should have been digested in the small intestine but has passed down directly into the bowel and been fermented there, causing gas. Right now, the interesting thing is that they have done research on how much gas a person with irritable bowel syndrome has compared to somebody who doesn't have IBS. And there is no difference. So even though the amount of gas that a person has can vary quite considerably, and the average amount of passing wind is 15 to 25 times a day, with men passing more wind than women, there is quite a lot of variety. But overall, people with irritable bowel syndrome do not have more gas or pass more wind than somebody without it. What they did discover, though, was that the distribution of that gas in the body is different, and that people with IBS the, the gas tends to pool or form in pockets and this causes the distension or the bloating. And the other thing is that with the same amount of gas in the body, the person without IBS doesn't feel it as pain, whereas those of us with IBS actually feel it as pain. And that's the, the incorrect signals going between the brain and the gut, our faulty signals. So that's what we know about passing gas and that it really is no different in those of us with IBS or without, except for the distribution of it and the way that we react to it, that we feel it as painful, whereas another person doesn't. Right, I hope that's helped sort out the fact that we do have to have some gas passing in our body. It is not abnormal to pass wind at all. Thank you for watching and goodbye.